Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handheld. I'm Joey, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be testing out the new Citra Vulcan build against Citra MMJ. And I'm going to be doing this off the cuff, so not a lot of editing on my voice or anything else, uh, but the video is going to be highly edited. Now, you might be wondering, why am I not testing Citra Vulcan against just the official Citra? The reason being is I did and official Citra does not run well. So let's check it against what people normally use, myself included, which is Citra MMJ, and now we have Citra Vulcan, the new build that just came out a few days ago. Okay, let's jump into Animal Crossing. And so I'm gonna do a split screen here for most of the video, and you can see in the top left of each video what the frame rate is and what the speed is. It's different for each game. I'm gonna really try and help you out here. The audio on the Citra Vulcan build is really bad and stuttery. Uh, there might be some games that I'm going to leave it on so you can just hear what it sounds like. But for the most part, Citra MMJ is just a lot better for the audio part at least. As far as frame rate goes, they're very close. It's hard to really tell the difference. Now, the main issue is Citra MMJ has the shader compilation. So you'll see some stutters when it's about to do that, and then you'll see shader compiled, where Citra Vulcan doesn't give you that notification. And so you're left kind of wondering, is it stuttering because of shaders or just stuttering because of the build? Uh, and I don't have a straight answer for that. Looking at kind of different games as we go along here, and now we're going to look at Dragon Quest VIII, uh, Journey of the Cursed King. It's pretty similar. I mean, this entire video, if you're just going to keep checking between the frame rates, you're not going to see a lot of difference there. There's going to be a few instances where there's a little bit more dips in one than the other. But if I had to point and choose at which build I would be using nowadays, I think I would still stick with MMJ just because of the audio issues. And honestly, once you get those shaders compiled, games run pretty well. So this might actually be a kind of showcase as well for the 405M in a way for you to just get an idea of what 3DS plays like. And so you can see here in Dragon Quest, there was a little bit of graphical glitches in Vulcan. This goes both ways on both builds, and I'm going to keep saying this, but each build has their own little quirks and kind of unique things. So for example, Vulcan will have graphical issues in here a little bit, but then MMJ will have huge graphical issues as you'll see going on a little bit later. Moving on to Fantasy Life, and this is one where it runs slightly better on Vulcan than on MMJ. You can see the stuttering even still on the screen with MMJ and the kind of just how it's just not running well, but Vulcan's really smooth at the 29 to 30 frame rate. This could be a game that you could just run on Vulcan. Now, again, the audio issues, which I'm going to leave in and kind of let you hear a little bit of it it's not great. And that might be the issue here. So you kind of don't get the best of any worlds in both builds. It's either you get audio issues and it runs great, or it runs not so great, but audio's fine. So pick your poison, I guess. By the way, if you haven't played Fantasy Life before, you absolutely need to. This is just one of those games that was under the radar for a lot, and I don't think a lot of people got to play it but it's definitely a really good game. Uh, I don't think the sequel's as good, but this is a great game to play if you haven't.
And now looking at Fire Emblem Awakening, this one's funny. It has the exact same performance basically. And you're going to see some massive slowdown in a second when you actually attack in battle. It's pretty interesting just kind of how similar they are. I would be, if it wasn't for the audio issues on Vulcan, I'd say that they just grabbed the MMJ build and called it theirs. That's kind of how similar these builds are. Uh, but you'll see in a second here during the attack phase, it just, it's slow down city. Um, and it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Jumping into some Mario Kart 7, and this one actually runs a lot better on Vulcan than it does on MMJ. Uh, it's a pretty big difference actually. But again, it's the audio issues that really kill it. Uh, if we can fix the audio issues on Vulcan, this will be one great emulator. But until then, this is just going to be kind of a choice between what you want, uh, if it's going to be performance or audio. For Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, there's no choice here. It's going to be Vulcan. There's a lot of graphical glitches on MMJ, as you can see with the purple box. But also, once you actually get into the start and kind of the intro screen you're going to see on the bottom from Vulcan, it's Stutter City for MMJ and Vulcan just runs it really smooth. So if you're going to be running or playing this game, I would stick with Vulcan. I'm not sure how it actually runs in-game. Monster Hunter isn't my type of game, but I mean, if there was one build that will work for it, it's going to be Vulcan. For Pokemon X, you can pick a build. Uh, they both run pretty similar here. Not much to separate them or really any difference here. Uh, it runs pretty well at the 30 frame rate. But again, and I'm probably gonna stop saying it at this point, it's really the audio issues in, in Vulcan that really kill it. So for Pokemon X, if you're gonna go that route, I would stick with MMJ just because it has less issue all around.
And not to repeat myself, but Pokemon Ultra Sun is basically the exact same scenario as Pokemon X. It's got uh, audio issues in Vulcan, but performance for both of them are pretty much the exact same, not much different between the two. So again, if you wanted to play this, I would go MMJ, but as a whole, you probably just want to grab a 3DS or it's something better hardware-wise. We're just not there yet. And now here's Stella Glow, and probably another one of those 3DS games that not a lot of people played, but is actually really good. And this is voiced by Kirito as well, if you're familiar at all with Sword Art Online. But it's slowed down during the actual battle, uh, as you're about to see, and I can't really flip heads or tails if MMJ or Vulcan is better here. Uh, it might be that MMJ will squeak out ahead once those shaders are compiled, but for the most part, Vulcan runs it pretty well smooth without even a hiccup. So you might actually want to jump into Vulcan for this one, uh, but again, you have to deal with those audio issues. So <laughs> pick and choose which one you want. If you're looking for Tales of the Abyss, there's only one option, and it's MMJ. Vulcan is black screened with the audio actually playing in the background, so it seems like it's running, but for some reason isn't showing up on screen. So if you want to play it, it's MMJ, and it's a slideshow. So there you go. Moving on to Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, and this one is MMJ pretty much all day long. Uh, Vulcan stutters and has those audio issues and for some reason just can't keep up. And, and this is a weird one because they have been on par for most of these games, but this is one where just MMJ just comes out way ahead. Uh, so if you're going to be playing this game in any way, shape or form, I'd probably just stick to MMJ might be better to just wait for some kind of updates on the Vulcan side.
And now lastly, with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, MMJ is playable. You can see all those graphical glitches happening in the background. Uh, Vulcan would be the way to go. And, and actually, I found it to be a bit smoother anyways than MMJ is. But again, and, and this is going to be my closing thoughts on this entire thing. If you're comparing Citra Vulcan to Citra Official, then Vulcan is definitely the winner. It's no contest. A lot of these games just don't even run well on Official. But if you're going to go Citra MMJ and kind of comparing it to Vulcan, I'd probably lean to sticking towards MMJ right now after all of these videos and testing. Uh, it's just a better experience. I've had less crashes, which is one thing I forgot to mention. Vulcan crashes quite a bit. So if you want to avoid all of that, just stick with MMJ until Vulcan gets to a spot where it's a lot more stable and, and a lot more uh, better on performance, but mainly it's the audio issues. And, and even with audio stretching enabled, it's really bad. So for now, stick with MMJ and that's going to be it for this one. So hope you liked the video and hope you have a good one.